青コーナーより選手入場 Hello there, everyone. My name is Zahaya Morgan. I am your official commentator here for Pure Wrestling Spirit episode number two. And after what was a pretty memorable reboot episode for PWS, we are going to start off tonight with first ever tag team competition. For this new reboot of Puro Wrestling Spirit. The two men you see in the ring right now, that is uh, the team of Tigre Kaido and Tetsuo Fujita. Coming down to the ring, here comes a man that Tigre knows pretty well in the form of Shin and his tag team partner, Akinari Abe. Tigre and Shin looking to meet once again, this time in tag team competition, while we also get to see first-hand looks at both Akinari Abe and Tetsuyo Fujita. So here we go. First match of the night tag team competition as Tigre and Shin going to start this one off. Just like they did last episode. Oh my god, a step up. I think that was a step up toe kick straight to the face, courtesy of Tigre Kaido there. Going for the pin early. Too close to the ropes there, though. Shin now has Tigre knees to the head. Tries to follow up with a single leg. Gets taken off of his feet with that spine buster, though. Now, you might be wondering what is the uh, relationship with uh, Tigre and Shin's tag partners. But we'll start off with uh, Shin and Akinari Abe, the man on the apron right there. As Tigre works over the arm. Akinari Abe is a friend of Shin's while also uh, dabbling in the Japanese indies. He also has a bad reputation of being a uh, backyarder, a backyard wrestler, so to speak. Tetsuyo Fujita, on the other hand, that would be Tigre's tag team partner, is a drinking buddy of Kaido's. And uh, having experienced what if what it was like to uh, go through a scandal, decided to help him out while also wanting a shot at glory. So he is in the same boat as one Tigre Kaido, to say the least, and you could say it in that way. They have something in common. I mean, who doesn't get into like very illegal, very du dubious scandals from time to time? Tag out to Tetsuyo Fujita, and now we're going to get a look at both men here. Oh, and look at that Shin getting a, a cheap shot in on Tetsuyo Fujita, and Tigre trying to stop it here. Going off the ropes is Shin. Oh, God. Meanwhile, Tetsuyo Fujita with a nice scoop and a slam. Fujita now, whoa, he's got the wrist. Trying to tap out Abe early. 
Clubbing blow to the back there from Fujita. Now look at the stare down between both men. Both trying to go for blows. And another scoop and a slam. Fujita locking in a straight shooter. Single leg Boston Crab. Shades of the late great Lance Storm. God rest his soul. Fujita hitting that drop kick. Trying to go for a gum and Gary Abe though. Falls up with a flying wheel kick. Straight to the head. Fujita tried to go for something. Big chop there from up. Snapmare there from Fujita. Trying again for the submission. Shin trying to break it up. Saving it for his team there. Nice double underhook takedown there from Abe. Or not Abe. From Fujita, I should say. Gaman Gary blocked there. Abe now looking for something. No. Nope. Gets caught. Another scoop. No. Nope. Abe having it blocked. Abe now. No. Nope. Calling up a tie-up. Irish whip going off the ropes here. And another spinning heel kick. But again, Fujita doesn't go down. Tag out to Shin and a tag out to Tigre Kaido. And now Abe and Fujita obviously not done with their encounter right now as they are both still in the ring battling out. Meanwhile, Shin and Tigre Kaido are the legal men in this match. Calling up a tie up yet again. Oh, nope. Fireman's carry takeover there from Kaido. Pulling him back into the ring. Another fireman's carry takeover. And now look at this. Tigre trying to go over the leg there. Snapmare takedown there from Tigre. Kaido now has him right where he wants him. Big missile drop kick. Send Shin crashing to the canvas. Kaido right now has got to take advantage of this situation. No drop toe hold there from Shin. Picking him up by his tights. Both men striking it out. And a nice neck breaker. Folks, following up this match, we still have... I look down the card here. We've, we've got uh, a good three more matches here tonight, including our main event, which will be Malachi taking on Nir Niran Awat. Tigre picking up Shin after those German suplexes tag in to Fujita. And another straight German suplex dropping Shin right on top of his head. Vegeta just watching on as his partner laying down the dirty work. And now look at this flash pin by Fujita. Abe almost too late to break that up. Just half a second away Fujita was from coming out with the victory. Abe trying to go for a small package. Not even the legal man, but that will certainly disorient Disorient, uh, dis disorientate Shin, I should say, or Fujita. And a nice dragon suplex, picking him up from the full Nelson position. Oh, and oh, that was a close one. As close as you can get. Down again, too. And again! Fujita coming close both times there. But Shin still in it. Abe now coming in. Big kicks from Shin. Abe though. Big. He's got him in a chin lock here. Tigre coming in to break it up. Drop to a hole. Kaido paying for coming into the ring. Abe making sure of it. Again, trying to go for that. Gaman Gary does. 
Fujita missed the draw kick. Did Abe? Draw kick missed yet again. Both men going for big strikes, but nothing connecting so far. Oh, neck crank. Trying to take Abe down to no avail. Abe, though, collar and elbow tie up, drop toe hold. There's a tag out to Kaido. Oh, big time into Gary. Oh, that rocked Abe. And oh, Fujita tried to go for a drop kick. Abe countered it. And a big kick to the midsection. Or so it seemed. I don't know. It kind of looked low from my position. But what do I know? I'm not the referee. As now a, a camel clutch being applied by Abe on Kaido. Deciding to let go of it. And switches into the side headlock. Really trying to wear down Kaido as this match continues. And there's another tag out to Shin. As now Tigre having to fight off both men at this point. Wait a second. Now arm captured belly to belly suplex. Kaido on fire right now. There's a German. Still has the waist lock. And there's another German. Two straight German suplexes to Shin. Goes for the cover, but again, he is too close to the ropes. Bad ring positioning can be your downfall at times, as you can see here with Kaido. Chen with a straight kick. Nope, blocked. Wait a second. Collar and elbow. Fireman's carry takeover. You have to think Kaido does not want to go 0 for 2 against... Oh, against Shen here. Look at that! A roll through arm bar into a leg bar. I swear that those ropes weren't in the way. If Kaido could just get him away from those ropes. Monkey flip! As he does now. This might be better ring positioning. Shin might be in trouble here. No, back elbow. Shin could sense that he was in trouble. Went for the tag instead. Both men getting the tag out. Abe and Fujita back into the match. Oh, wait a second. Oh, backslide. Backslide counter. Caught the punch from Fujita. And Abe was able to counter with the backslide. Again, too close to the ropes, though. For it to do him any good. Tried to pick him up by the waist. It seems he's going to deadlift him for something there. I'm not quite sure. Irish whip off the ropes. Big time drop kick from Fujita. Both men popping back up to their feet. Fujita trying to get him with that scoop slam again. And this time he does. Abe fought off. Fought it off the first time. Couldn't do it the second. And now again with this wrist clutch submission. And Shin breaks it up. Shin now look at this. Back elbow to the head. And I like the elbows to the shin of, well, shin. Uh, oh, wait. I thought he was going to go for the single leg. Tries to go for an STF instead. Big time in Zagiri there from Fujita. Going after the legs now. Irish whip. Oh, whoa, roll through, roll through, roll through, oh my god, oh my goodness, one, two, no. Had to spin him out just to, just to catch him with that, uh, th that jackknife pin there. Shen and Kaido once again, the legal men in this contest. Meanwhile, Fujita and Abe can't keep their hands off one another. Big clubbing blow to the back. Kaido saying that's it. There's the cover. There's the two. And still not enough to get a three count. Kaido, though, with the fireman's carry takeover. Picking up Shin yet again. Signaling that's it. 
got the belly to belly tossing him nearly halfway across the ring Shin might be out of it there's the one there's the two and that will do it Kaido gets the victory on Shin gets a bit of payback from last episode look at this you can obviously see that Abe wait a second look at this oh my god oh my god Kaido just pile driving Shin into the canvas you have to know that this one is far from over ladies and gentlemen this one is just getting started Well, we're going to move on from all of that chaos. Hopefully to something a little more, uh, you know, less chaotic. We get ready for one-on-one -on -one competition. stare down between these two fighters getting ready to duke it out in the middle of this ring As we take it to the announcer for the official introductions for this one-on-one -on -one contest Here we go. One-on-one -on -one contest here on PWS episode number two. It is Ivan Afanka taking on Ken Austin. Now, Ivan was a part of the original Cage Wars and PWS roster before he joined PWS back in the day. And back in the day, he was a Sambo practitioner. He is the uh, he is one of the biggest rivals to one to, Sh to, to Shiro Daigo, who we saw on the last episode. So one has to wonder if Daigo is paying close attention to this one. Meanwhile, we got Ken Austin, and you know, before the hiatus, was one of the breakout stars of PWS. Had a rivalry with the former PWS world champion, Divine Grace. So he's looking to continue from where he started or where he was, I should say, back when the original PWS was around. But you never know how things pan out. Professional wrestling is a very unpredictable sport to get into. As now you can see, Ken Austin laying it on thick on Ivan so far. So Ivan's going to try to use that Sambo style as much as possible. But Ken Austin is going to try to cut him off at all times Irish whip into the corner goes Ken Austin though Ivan now gonna take advantage got him in the tree of woe straight kick to the midsection gets him out of there As you can see Ivan working over the arm of Ken Austin and trying to strike away 
at Ivan, but Ivan's got him checked there as well. Ivan, oh god, straight knees. Muay Thai knees straight to the midsection and a back drop driver right on top of Ken Austin's head. Ow. No part of that had to had to feel good. Now look at this. Oh god. Jesus Christ. Look at the crank. He's got him in a hammer lock neck crank. Ken Austin could barely do anything to, you know, stop that submission hold. He didn't even have he only had he didn't have the use of one of his limbs. Can Austin look like he was trying to go for a backdrop driver of his own? But now look at this going up the. Oh my good lord, what a knee strike from Ivan. And now going for the cross arm breaker. Too close to the ropes, though. This one could have been over in a second. That knee was absolutely disgusting. Ivan now. Jesus Christ. It's like a reverse arm bar here. Ivan is just twisting Ken Austin in ways that Ken Austin just doesn't want to be right now. Ken, Irish whip, Ivan with the reversal though. Oh god, forearms. Ken though, trying to take advantage right here. But is stopped in his tracks yet again, but no, so as I say that. Takedown, tries to go for the Kimura. Too close to the ropes. Ivan, and there's the judo style takedown. A straight judo throw from Ivan. Goes for the takedown, and now the ground and pound punches. I'm not entirely sure if that's legal. But he's going to use whatever he can as an advantage against Ken Austin. Ken. Cannot, can't do any, he can't even defend himself. Look at it, just raining down hammer shots straight to his face. Another wrist lock, down goes Ken Austin. Try to go for the rear naked choke, did Ivan. Wrist lock again, and working over the arm is Ivan Afonka. And Austin now going to try to take back this contest. Irish whip into the corner. Running at Ivan with the back elbow. Tries to go for the cover. Too close to the ropes. Ivan able to grab hold of the bottom rope there. Wrist. Clutch again and down goes. Ken Austin. Ivan is just all over this man right now. Working over the arm of uh, Austin. Oh my god, and a straight forearm sends Austin to the outside. Oh god, can Austin could be in trouble. Rear naked choke! Rear naked choke on the outside! He can't get the tap out on the outside, but he could definitely wear him out, possibly put him to sleep, get that count out victory. Again, working over that arm. Ivan could be looking for the count out victory. Ken Austin gonna have to find a way. Gonna have to recover quickly. Count of 13 gets back gets back in, but is he fully recovered? You have to wonder. Oh, is it? oh Ken Austin with the Lariat from out of nowhere! Completely taking Ivan off of his feet. And now Ken Austin trying to get back into it, but a fireman's carry Ivan is still has his senses. And now goes for the cross arm bar again. Could be looking for the submission victory, but Ken refuses to tap out. Ken tries to go for something. Is stopped again with the fireman's carry. Ken trying to go for the shoulder block. Oh my god, and he just crumples after that straight kick. I think that was to the leg by Ivan. Reversal there. Ken working over Ivan's arm now. And returning the favor is Afonka. Nope. Austin now. 
with the arm wrench. Statmare takedown. Finally trying to catch his breath here. Now what the hell is this? Oh my god! I even I am entirely sure what that was, but it looked damn effective. And, oh, arm catcher, belly to belly suplex there. Both men are down, both men exhausted. Ivan, however, the first one to get back to his feet. Try to go for the pin, but he was way in the ropes there. Nice takedown yet again. This time with the leg hook and a kick out. Just barely can Austin get out of that, but the match still continues. Can Austin with the front face lock. Our snapmare there. Could be in trouble. Try to go for the pin off of the snapmare. Very interesting. Waist lock is broken there from Ivan. Waist lock from Ivan. Again, there's the rear naked choke in the middle of the ring. And that's it. It's over. Ivan with the rear naked choke submission victory on Ken Austin. And that will do it. That put Ken's lights out in an instant. What a victory for Ivan Afonka. Even as the match went on from the from bell to bell, he was just in complete control. A bad start for Ken Austin, but Ivan making a huge impression. Well, we're getting ready for more one-on-one -on -one competition here on PWS, episode number two. This right here, I believe, is Jin Yutake. Looking as fierce as ever. Here comes his opponent for tonight, Esperanza Tigre. Getting ready for this one on one competition. Both men looking down very intently. This one looking to be a ferocious battle between these two. So we take it down to the announcer. シングルマッチ here we go. Esperanza Tigre taking on Jin Yutaki. And more singles competition. After this, we have two more matches to go. Another tag match and our main event, which will feature Malachi taking on Niran Awat in more singles competition and folks let it be known right now that uh, you can see oh my god what a reversal early i was going to say you can see more action like this by subscribing to the jm factor youtube channel there you will not only see 
you will not only see action like PWS, but also SCA, uh, Toshimi Minami's Blood Sport, uh, and uh, more. All like that. Subscribe to the JM Factor YouTube channel today. Turn on that notification bell. Get notified when more of these videos drop on a nearly weekly basis. You will not be disappointed. I can guarantee you that. As both men trying to jock for position so far. Jen with the side headlock too close to the ropes. Referee telling him to get out of there. Collar and elbow tie up. Straight scoop and a slam there from Jen. That's Tigre in a very bad way early. Trying to keep him on his toes. Tigre though, stuffing the takedown. Nice sprawl there. Double under hook. No. Nope. Gets out of that. Esperanza Tigre, though. Irish whip off the ropes. Coming back at him. There's a nice back body drop. Jin trying to get back to his feet, but gets met with a kick to the midsection. Jin trying to come back here. Snapmare takedown. Tigre. Oh, God. And a reversal there from Jin. Straight soul bite. And a roundhouse to the midsection. Both of these men trying to rely on, rely on their strikes. Uh, and there is the Lucha Libre background from Tigre. Just spinning like a... Like a top twirler or whatever they're called. Oh my god! A, a big Gaumann Geary kick to the back of the head. Takes down the like, does Esperanza Tigre, and working over the like now. Jen tried to go for the takedown. Esperanza, though, with the big clubbing shot to the back. Nice body slam there from Tigre. Oh, God, and a knee to the... I believe that was to the rib cage. Got the kick again. Flip Santon. Nicely done. Tigre now. Look at the kicks. Oh my god. That nice little kick combination. A little shout out to Ultimo Dragon with that one. Jin Yutake though. Oh god. Lifting Flatliner. And, oh, oh, God, open palm strikes to the face. Those were a lot more legal than uh, what than what uh, Ivan was delivering to uh, Ken earlier. Still hurts like a bitch, but, you know. Oh, God, drop kick, though. Tigre starting to come back. Jen trying to roll out of the ring, it seems. Trying to catch his breath. Blocks the soul butt. Did T. Gray. But didn't block that Enzigiri. Jin going to take advantage of that. Too close to the ropes though. I'm not entirely too sure about that. Oh god and another Gaumen Gary. Wasn't entirely too sure about that. But the referee has a better look at the action than I do. Another takedown. Working over the leg is... T. Gray right now. Esperanza tries to go for the go behind. Collar and elbow gets taken down with the drop toe hold. And now into the single leg Boston Crab, the straight shooter. Both men just going back and forth. No one with a clear advantage thus far. D. Gray from the top! Tries to go for, I believe, a falling headbutt. Nobody home, though. And again, with this figure four leg scissors. Jen trying to take advantage of a very weary Esperanza Tigre. Back elbow and a nice shoulder tackle. From Esperanza. Going after the leg. Jin again going to the outside. 
Jen on the apron. Both men just staring each other down. Like either one looking to make a move. Double under hook. No. Oh, God. Jen stuffed it, so he got a... Tigre responded with a clubbing blow to the back. Tried to respond with a draw kick and just gets taken down. And there's a heel hook being applied by Jen. Neck crank and a clubbing blow to the back. Oh my god, and a kick to the face. That was absolutely disgusting. I'm not going to lie. Dragon screw leg whip. Caught the kick from Esperanza, and down went Esperanza Tigre. You can just see Tigre starting to huff and puff. This match certainly taking a toll on him. Oh, God, spinning heel kick to the back of the head. But I'll tell you what, if he keeps landing shots like that, Jin is not going to last too much longer. German suplex with the bridge. One, two, no. My goodness, from out of nowhere, picks him up. Fisherman Buster. And now Jin Yutake from the top double foot stomp. Tigre, though, double underhook is blocked and and Jin pretty much saying that's one that that one's for you pal look like he's trying to go for a pile driver Esperanza had it countered neck crank yet again Jin goes to a knee stops Tigre from whatever the hell he's doing oh wait a second sleeper hold sleeper locked in Esperanza getting out of it block the drop kick Oh, God! Knee to the shoulder! That was very... malicious, I should say. Snapmare by Esperanza. Picking up Jin. Big knee! Going after the leg yet again. Oh my god, a kick straight to the top of the head. And oh, that was a standing moonsault knee drop from Esperanza Tigre. And a snap DDT. Both men are down. Jin, though, looking to follow up. It is blocked yet again from Esperanza. Knee to the head. Elbow there. Oh, he rocked Tigre. He rocked Esperanza. Crossbody from the top rope from Jin Yutake. And tries to go. No, reversed. What a reversal from Esperanza. Oh, my goodness gracious. Kick to the midsection. Blocked. And now Jen turning. Tigre around and is immediately met with the ropes. Esperanza could be in trouble. No! Reversal just as soon as I say that. And again, both men are down. Who is going to capitalize on this situation? Oh. Big punch! Takes down Jen. This could be Esperanza's big opportunity right now. He's got to seize it though. Working over the leg again. Dropping that knee on top of the leg. Oh, wait a second. Missed the drop kick. Jen going to take advantage of this. There's a two. Only a two count. Drop kick to the knee is stuffed yet again. So, wait. No. Has him. He did the deal. The Falcon Arrow from Jen. And that's only a two. What? He did the Falcon Arrow. Now, Esperanza with the moonsault, though, but no one's home. My goodness gracious. 
Knee to the head is completely blocked. Drop toe hold. Trying to pick him. Oh, and Lamahi Straw! Trying to catch him with the Lamahi Straw! But to no avail. Oh my god, Esperanza with the tombstone pile driver. But Jin's getting back to his feet. But he's not on there. There is a German suplex. But Esperanza, there is a dragon. And there is the straight jacket, the Chimera Plex. Two. No, are you kidding me? The Chimera Plex was not enough to get the three count. But now look at this. Saiga suplex. Two! And that will do it! Esperanza Tigre with the Tiger Suplex. And that finishes off Jin Yutaki in one phenomenal contest. Esperanza Tigre, my goodness. The future, if he is able to continue getting victories like that, the future is is bright for that young man. We uh, have to move on from uh, that amazing contest to our pin ultimate match of the night. There you can see the man in front. That is Crazy Mexican. We saw him in the last episode of PWS. There you can see his tag team partner, El Diablo. A very interesting tag team, to say the least. As here comes the opposition, Gary Fatu and Umaro Ono. Got a couple of big boys heading down to the ring, to say the least. Which is going to be a very interesting uh, situation considering Crazy Mexican's Lucha Libre style. El Diablo I'm a little less uh, uninformed about, but we will see how he fares against these two big men as we send it down to the ring announcer. Here we go. Gary Fatu and Crazy Mexican gonna start it off as Crazy Mexican, not gonna waste any time, immediately hitting that drop kick, and Gary Fatu went down, surprisingly enough. And oh my god, uh, um, I think they call this an, a Mexican surfboard stretch. Crazy Mexican not wasting any time. But Gary using his enormous frame to counter most of Crazy Mexican strikes so far. Oh, wait a second. Couldn't counter that. Oh, God. Calling up a tie-up. Irish with no too big. Too big. And now attack out to Oh my god! Umaro Ono. 
as Crazy Mexican is just getting worked over right now. Oh, oh caught it! There is an arm bar, a Fujiwara arm bar there. El Diablo trying to break it up for his tag team partner. Oh, a kick to the back. That got Ono's attention. Tries to pick up. Oh, no, no. Push back. Oh, no, now going after Crazy Mexican. Wrist lock, no. Counter there from Crazy Mexican. Elbows to the arm. Tag out to El Diablo. And we're going to get a look at this crazy man for the first time in the PWS ring. Oh, God. Double axe handle to the back. Fireman's carry take over there from Umaro Ono. Headbutt. Caught that kick. Kick to the leg. Oh, God. Going straight for the leg is Ono. Back body. No. Trying to go for that backdrop driver. El Diablo going off the ropes. Get his leg caught again. Clubbing blows to the back, though. Oh, these two just want to fight. These two just want a straight-up fight. I cannot blame them. There is some heated... There's some obviously some animosity between these two right now. Now, look at this. Oh, oh no. Pretty much taking advantage. But El Diablo is not backing down whatsoever. Oh, no. Now it's getting on the apron. El Diablo... Focusing his attention on Gary, but Fatu just sends him down without a second thought. Oh, Diablo just trying to back him off. Irake playing a little dirty there. Tag out to Amaro Ono. So now Gary tries to do something, but El Diablo with the strength to counter that whatever whatever Gary was thinking for. Oh, and a straight-up choke. A straight-up illegal choke from Umaro Ono. El Diablo is not having the best of times right now. And again, that straight kick to the leg. Trying to sweep that leg is Umaro Ono. Tag out to Crazy Mexican. Nice scoop slam. Crazy Mexican, though. Wait, El Diablo. Oh, that suplex attempt was blocked. Snapmare takedown. Marono trying to separate himself from both Crazy Mexican and El Dia Diablo. Oh, Crazy Mexican, Irish whip. Going off the ropes. There's that cartwheel back elbow! Signature crazy Mexican. That cartwheel back elbow, but Umaro Ono still on top of him. Gary Fatu getting tagged in. Oh, God. Eye poke. Now going after the arm. There's a key lock being applied. Again, not the legal man, but he can certainly stretch out Crazy Mexican, do the damage, give Gary Fatu a much more easier time, to say the least. But Crazy Mexican still has a lot of fight left in him. El Diablo coming back in. And now, oh, oh, double drop kick! El Diablo from the front, Crazy Mexican from the back. Tattoo Umaro Ono, every single person now in the ring. El Diablo and Umaro just continuing from where they left off. Oh, God! Like a Steiner running headbutt. Very nice. Whoa! Jack Hammer from El Diablo! Oh, and a straight up lariat. Has him right where he wants him. No, Fujiwara armbar counter. El Diablo and Ono are just hammering it out with one another. Chop is blocked. 
or at least stuffed, to say the least. Oh, wait a second. Die! A very illegal atomic drop there. Going off the world's big boot. A straight Yakuza kick from El Diablo. And now dropping two legs onto Amaro Ono. Dropped Soul Holt there. Tag out to Gareth for two. You can just see. El Diablo was just waiting for either one to make a move at that point. Tag out to Crazy Mexican. Big Yakuza get to Gary for two. When he wasn't even... When he wasn't even suspecting it. Oh my god. El Diablo showing off the strength with that one-armed scoop slam. And now Crazy Mexican looking to take advantage. Back soup. But no. Gary for two was able to block it that time. Irish whip there. Off the ropes. Nice arm. Nice arm drag. Tag out to Ono. Kick to the mid -section. Drop kick is blocked. Ono now again with that illegal choke. Oh, try to go for that leg sweep yet again, though. Crazy Mexican had it scouted. Drop to a whole counter. Another drop to a hold. Ona just trying to slow this one down for Crazy Mexican. Tag out to El Diablo. Oh, missed that cartwheel elbow drop. There was nothing on that cartwheel elbow drop that time. Has him up. No. Oh, wait a second. Oh, my God. Jackknife. Jackknife, too. No. What a counter. Oh, my God. Good lord. Just one shot from Gary Fatou and down went El Diablo. That was just, that was kind of disgusting. Looking for that three point stance? Nope. Yakuza kick from El Diablo! And a drop kick. Oh no, getting completely worked over. From the top, big leg drop. Oh no, needing a tag and he gets it. Oh, but El Diablo just getting him out of the way. And I'm going up to Gary for two, trying to pick him up. No, not happening. El Diablo now trying to reassess the situation. Has him calling up a tie up. Going off the ropes is Gary for two. And gets caught with a back body drop. And dropping the leg yet again. Tag out to Crazy Mexican. Tag out to Ono. Both Ono and Fatu are not looking so good right now. Oh, wait a second. Oh, Fatu hasn't. Nope. Clubbing blow to the back. Oh, wait a second. There's a double team power bomb from Ono and Fatu. And Crazy Mexican could be out of it. Backdrop driver! And now a heel hook being applied by Ono. Oh, pile driver perhaps. No, Crazy Mexican was able to counter it. Shoots the half for the win. Only a two count. Caught him with the enziguri. Oh no, thought he had Crazy Mexican right where he wanted him. But Crazy Mexican says otherwise. There's that signature crossbody. We saw him use a top rope crossbody against Teddy to end his last match. Will that be the same here? In this tag team contest, both Gary and Ono are going to have to look out for that as Ono is just deliberately trying to give El Diablo brain damage. 
Try to go for a pile driver. Did crazy Mexican. Couldn't quite get it. Now the two legal men in this match finally going at it. Well, for two. Double axe handles to the back. And again. More double axe handles. He is looking for something, but... Oh, no! El Diablo had the counter! Tag out to Ono. Oh, it sends El Diablo to the outside. And now Ono starting to follow. Uh-oh. Goodness gracious! Oh, back! Drop driver on the outside, dear lord. There's barely any padding out there. He might have knocked his. It might have knocked himself silly just from doing that. El Diablo in the ring. Oh no, starting to follow. Tried to pick him up to no avail though. Ona now picking up El Diablo, turning him around, trying to disorient him again. Oh, and now there's a Fujiwara armbar, but too close to the ropes. It's El Diablo, tag out to Crazy Mexican. Headbutt. Irish whip coming off the ropes. Nope, Yakuza kick, saw it coming. Crazy Mexican, though, gets stopped with a drop toe hold. And a tag out to Gary for two. Oh, big slap. And now look at this crazy Mexican taking on both for two and Ono so far. In the corner. Has a tornado DDT is blocked by Gary for two. And a big time lariat from for two there. Crazy Mexican looked like he was going to build up a, a head of steam, but it was just stopped immediately by the big man. Oh, wait a second. No, look. Mexican surfboard, but again, too close to the ropes. Tag out to Ono. Big power bomb from Gary for two. Crazy Mexican deciding he needs a tag out. Probably the smart... Smartest thing he's done so far. Irish whip off the ropes. And I wait a minute! Oh my god! There's that back elbow. And a knee drop. King Kong knee drop. One. No, only a one. King Kong knee drop. Oh, Yakuza kick! To the middle rope again! Knee! One! Two! No! Broken up by Gary for two! We, this match could have been over, but Gary for two deciding to stop it. Was not going to give the victory today to El Diablo and Crazy Mexican. Oh, big headbutt from Ono. That could have knocked him out. One, two, no. What in the hell is it going to take? That's now, wait, no, blocked. Jackknife, but Ono's oh not the legal man. If he was, that for sure would have been a three count. Griffith 2 trying to take advantage, though. Blocked the headbutt, did El Diablo. Oh, God, big knees. Oh, well, we got three minutes. Three minutes left. This 30-minute time limit contest. Crazy Mexican now picking up Gary Fitz. No, couldn't quite do it. Gary getting the tag out. And now, wait a second, look at this heel hold! Heel hold again! Crazy Mexican refuses to tap out, though. Oh, wait, small package! But again, it's to the, it's not to the legal man in this match! Headbutt! 
An illegal choke. We got a minute and a half left in this contest. El Diablo trying to help out now. Headbutt. 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 We got less. We got less than a minute left in this contest. Owen's gonna have to make a move. Big time headbutt there from Ono. Crazy Mexican slowly getting back to his feet. Blocked. Crazy Mexican. There's a tag out. Might have saved himself. Something's gotta happen quickly. There's the cartwheel back elbow. Can El Diablo capitalize? From the middle rope. Knee drop and it's over. Oh no. El Diablo and Crazy Mexican had the right idea. Unfortunately, the time expired. This one goes to a time limit draw. After what was a hellacious tag team match, this one ends in a time limit draw. The first one. I was going to say that that was the first time limit draw we've had in PWS so far, as far as the re reboot is concerned, but uh, we're going to have to see if those teams settle it in the near future. But right now, we've got main event action coming up right now. You can see Niran Awat in the yellow, I believe that is Malachi. Now, considering what this main event is, and considering the styles that I've been told what these two have had, this one is certainly going to be an interesting contest to say the least, but right now, we're going to take it down to the announcer for the official introductions for this main event. Okay, so I Okay, so I stayed corrected. The one in the Waiki, that is Malachi. One in all yellow, that is Miran A what? Like I said, when I mentioned that this one should have been an interesting, it is a, this one is a clash of Malachi's Taekwondo style taking on Neuron's kickboxing style. So two different types of martial arts going at it in the middle of this ring. Stuffing the kick did near on there. Both men trying to tie up. Oh, wait a second. Gets caught. No, blocks the kick. Both men trying to go for strikes early. Snapmare takedown. Both men going to have to be extremely careful as this match continues. Oh, and Malachi sending near on to the outside. Oh, good lord, what a kick. Both men on the outside don't want to get counted out here. I have to be very careful. We know how heated things can get on the outside of the ring. Near on doing the smart thing, getting back inside, not risking the count out. Oh. 
Nice snapmare takedown there from Malachi. Stomping on the head. Again, stuffing that kick is Neron. Oh, but didn't stuff that one. That was straight to the rib cage. All those strikes look like might look like they're not doing much damage right now. The more they the more that they are uh the more the more that they connect, the more time that they connect, it is not going to, it is not going to benefit either Malachi or Neron, whichever the one who is getting hit at the very moment, which is Neron at the moment, as as Malachi is using those kicks straight to the mid midsection, I should say. Uh, but wait, Neron locking in a straight STF. Here in the middle of this ring, trying to get the tap out, Malachi. Not submit. Straight shoot kicks to the chest. And that one, those kicks completely took the air out of Malachi. Tried to go for the pin. Couldn't quite do it just yet. Malachi gets his leg caught. And try to go for the spinning heel kick. Neuron has had his kick scouted. Neuron, now look at this. He's starting to get confident. Starting to get a little cocky. Double under underhook is blocked by Neron. That hip toss is not. Going off the ropes. Waist lock is blocked. Oh, Malachi signaling for something here. Both men just lying in wait for the other to make a mistake. Suplex attempt is blocked. Oh, big kick to the head. Roundhouse kick to the head. Oh, Muay Thai knee. Oh, Muay Thai knee. Oh, my good lord. What a kick there from Malachi. Completely took Neron off his feet. Neron, though, locking in an octopus stretch. You have to give it up for both men and their... Their will, their willingness to uh, take punishment. This contest continues. Nice take down there from Malachi. Double underhook. Oh, nice. Neuron had the double hook countered. Malachi went for the knees instead, and now Malachi going for the top row. Oh, double foot stomp straight to the midsection. Neuron now looking for something. Punches to the head. Oh, God, axe kick. Neuron, the oh, kick straight to the leg. I believe that was to the thigh as well. Neuron again going for the octopus stretch, looking for the tap out victory. Looking for the submission. Double underhook again. Knees to the midsection, though. Neuron is trying to block whatever double underhook maneuver he's looking for. So instead, Malachi. Oh my god! Oh my god! A flurry of punches from Neuron from out of nowhere. Malachi is dazed and confused and in trouble. STF again. Neuron could have the submission victory in just a moment, but no. Those flurry of punches coming from. Out of nowhere. Oh, good lord. Neuron taking off his feet. A nice karate chop from Malachi. Neuron barely getting back up, but he's still in it. Toss to the outside. He's looking to fight. Yeah, he's looking to fight on the outside. Looking to get something going here. Again with this octopus stretch. Just completely taking Malachi out of it. Double underhook is stuffed yet again. Straight shoe kicks to the chest. Niren goes down. Goes for the... Oh, God. Goes for a bit of a triangle choke on the floor. Malachi is out of it. Neuron's got to follow up though. No, waist lock is denied. Kicks, kicks, straight to the chest. Goes for the cover. Could that be it? Two, no. B 
Big knees there from Malachi. Oh, God. You have to think, as an original roster member, you know, before and even before joining the company uh, as a former champion in kickboxing, you would think that this sort of match would, would favor Neron, but Malachi has been holding his own so far. I mean, hell, in the original PWS, he had the most... He won most of his matches by knockout! Oh my god, but he could be knocked out himself! Wait a second, no, never mind! Boston Crab by Malachi! Could be looking for the tab out now! You're, oh my good, neron has got to do something quickly. Malachi is looking for either the knockout or the submission. Either one will suffice. Oh my god! Oh my god! Niren's getting back up, but there's no way he's all there right now. Holy shit. Malachi is looking for the death blow. No, God, too close to the ropes. Oh, my, oh, my God. Niren cannot take much more of this. It is just a matter of time. And now again with the Boston Crab, and this one is over. Malachi gets the victory. In what was a complete fight through and through, Malachi gets the victory through the Boston Crab, which just pretty much signifies anything could happen here in PWS.